I've come here today to um, find out some more about possibilities of working within music education within the community settings. I was really interested in the website. Um, I'm part of Music Leader and um, I came to find out some more information about setting up a project because that's what I'm really interested in. Basically, um, like I said, I'm at the start of my journey. I'm like two months away from compute, completing my teacher training and just for me it's all about getting the knowledge about what's available in the sector. Sound Connections is an organisation uh, based in London uh, and our purpose is really to increase quality music opportunities for young people. And we do that through uh, training and developing the workforce, so the music education workforce. And that might be music leaders, people working in schools, people working in studios. We also do that through running projects with young people. And then thirdly, through uh, working with uh, government and other agencies around strategy and advocacy works in the capital. Part of my role here is to find opportunities for our students, alumni and graduates, whether that's in working in the industry, like A and R record labels, publishers, managers, producers, or other avenues such as working in music education. Sign Connections works with young people across community music making in London. The institute trains young people to be better musicians, so for us it's an extremely natural partnership. useful today was uh, looking the first session I had with Sound Connections he gave us a great insight into how the, the, that the land lays at the moment for working within the community sector in terms of gaining funding who's offering support networking and advice and guidance. Um, just the advice and guidance about CV writing I think that's really important um, contacts um, thinking of building up a business model. I think I've Got a lot of ideas around funding, um, around where I can get information, um, and and uh, different approaches to um, sort of like criminal justice. I think it's actually reinforced that there are many different career um, avenues, roles, directions you can take as a musician. But as importantly, that the whole portfolio career, which is a term that's often mentioned when talking about musicians, um, you know, to have a piece of live performance, of session work, of maybe working in the music industry, um, but also teaching and you know starting up your own projects and finding the initiative and engaging with your community as well. Um, it's not only obviously very useful, interesting and expansive for them, it's a great experience, but um, you can actually generate uh, an income from it. So for someone who's just venturing into this area or into this sector and trying to make a career for themselves, it's been great in terms of insight and information. It's been really good. I mean, there's so much. You know, I'm trying to think of what I like the most and actually there's been so much that I've really enjoyed. It's been brilliant. It's been a really um, positive experience. I'm, I'm left um, thinking what my goals are achievable and um, it's just a matter of uh, meeting the right people and, and networking. So. Um, I get access to those resources to make that um, you know, dream a reality. So definitely I would recommend this you know, 10 out of 10 to, to anyone really um, interested in working in education and music. What we've learned is that there's a real need for this activity. There's an opportunity to bring musicians together across London to find out what they need to do to become a better artist, to find out what they need to do to work in the industry, or to find out what they need to do to work in education. And from that we realise there's a real hunger and a real thirst to develop these areas. <laughs>